So how did you lose him? The door was open? No, like I said, so we have him outside. Like, like oh. not alone, but we'll, we we we'll, we'll be carrying him on our shoulder and walking around. Yeah. Because he never tried to fly, so... Mm. And I guess this time something spooked him really hard that he decided to just fly super high up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the owner and ask some questions. I've never talked to the owner, but I want to call and see what they say, how they are, and just get a feel for them and also ask some questions about the bird. Hello? Hi, um, you guys lost a bird, right? Hello? Hello? Yes. Yeah, you guys, I saw your flyers. You lost a bird? Yes. Yeah, Um. I have a couple of questions because I've been on the lookout. Like, um, how long have him have he been missing? Oh, since um, last Saturday morning. So he's been out since a week now? Hello? Sorry? One. So one week, today is Sunday? Yeah. One week, okay. I've been looking around and calling his name um, to help you reunite with him. My name is Caroline. I really appreciate that. Yeah. The thing is, I need some more information about um, does he like respond to Kevin or what's the word he respond to? Yeah, he will respond to Kevin for sure, definitely. So he might be shy, but at this point, I feel like he's been up. It's already going to be a week, so he's probably going to be hungry. So he will reply to anyone. But definitely his name or any whistle. I've been oh, whistling. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've been whistling, looking because I have eight parrot and I also have an African grey. And it's been oh. really raining. And I just thought like, oh my gosh, this poor bird is out there. Yeah, we got, trust me, we've been looking every single day also. Okay. But yeah, no luck, fortunately. But we're not giving up. We're still going to be looking for him. Yeah. But yeah, any whistle, like his name definitely... Um, say Kevin, because that's what we've been doing. Like Kevin. The day, sorry. Oh, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Well, yeah, because the day that he flew away, yeah, he was replying to us. He was what? He was replying to us the day that he flew away. Oh, so he was vocal, vocal. Y yeah. And he was up in the tree. So what happened? And after that, after we got underneath the tree that he was at, he, uh, he flew away again, and that's when the last time that we saw him. And that was at Garfield and Adana. Yeah. And did he fly north, south, east, or west? He. F so we saw him fly west and north, but then a lot of people keep okay. telling us that he went south um, or east. So at that point, that's when we we lost him. We we don't know if he turned around. Mm. or if they saw a different kind of bird and they thought it was him but after that we just kept hearing different um stories. different stories yeah okay um but yeah we we saw him on the tree we were literally right underneath him oh wow and he didn't come and down he didn't come down no no okay so is he clip how good can he fly how far can he fly well, this is the first time I actually find this high. His wings were never clipped. Oh, he's never clipped before. No, because okay. he we used to always carry him around, and he never really tried to fly. Mm. And I guess this time something spooked him really hard that he decided to just fly super high up. So how did you lose him? The door was open? No, like I said, so we have him outside. Like, like oh. not alone, but we'll, we we we'll, we'll be carrying him on our shoulder and walking around. Yeah. Because he never tried to fly, so... Mm. Um, yeah, this time, something actually spooked him. So, to... do you do indoor recall training? Like, uh, when you call him, Kevin, come here, he fly from a perch or from the cage to you? Can he do that? Uh, yeah. 
he can fly. Okay, so he knows yeah. how to navigate down from the door to the floor and knows yeah. how to. Yeah. So he's a really good flyer then. Yeah. Okay. He's a good flyer. That means he can fly really high and really far as well. Yeah, this is his first time actually like flying this this far and this high. Okay, yeah, like you said, usually it's like around from the door to the floor, to the cabinets, mm -hmm. but nothing like high up like a tree. And do you have any idea where he could be? No, to be honest. I mean, at this point, I feel like since if he was really outside, maybe he got cold and went to the nearest person and that's our thing i don't know if he went to someone and someone hasn't yeah and since it's been raining yeah not a lot of people haven't seen the flyers up so not, not sure yeah there's like three scenarios um either he's been already found and somebody already turned him in did you did you look at um pasadena humane society yeah they already know us so, but so far no one has returned them okay so then yeah. he's not found yet um no usually what happens and i lost all of my parrots and i always oh, get really? them back and then i start tr training them for free flight now if somebody goes missing they know how to come back to me and navigate because i ho wrote a whole book about f parrot free flight training and that's okay. really really good to teach how the parrot to fly outside and come back you know oh, okay um and then the other scenario is um, um, he is in either enjoying his freedom right now and he joined in with the wild flock um, and he's just surviving outside uh -huh. and or if he want, really wants to be found he can come and fly down to somebody's house or a fence or sound you know um, yeah. like and somebody would have find him but that's not the case or he could be also because of hawks could be also like I don't want to like paint the back picture but if yeah. he's not really like a wild bird who knows how to survive he could be food for some other bird you know what i mean yeah so that's that's the thing if he gets hurt or something like that but i think he is enjoying his freedom flying around with the wild parrots and i'll be continue looking for him yeah well i really appreciate it but yeah, I mean, we're not going to give up. Hopefully he's still around and hopefully we'll find him soon. Yeah. The only thing is you might need to widen your search field. I don't think he is in the neighborhood area. If he can fly far and high, that means he might be in like two, three miles radius. I was looking oh, in a yeah. mile radius. Yeah, we've been, trying, we've been going through like nearest parks, like as far as... um. Yeah, like the schools around us, like Marshall, yeah. PHS, we went as far as City Hall also, wow, those okay. parks around those areas, just to see if we see, if we see or hear something. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we're not just on this area, we're looking for also. Yeah, expanding your search. Yeah. That's good. So don't give up hope. Um, there's no, people out there no. who's going to help you and you'll find your bird. Just be positive. He's fine. Yeah. He's surviving somewhere, having fun. Um, yeah. And I will be on the lookout for him as well and start. Thank you. Like continue searching for him. Thank you. I really appreciate it. What was your name again? Uh, Caroline. Caroline. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I have eight parrots. Yeah. I have four macaws, uh, African oh, yeah. gray, and two Amazons and a little lorikey. So we have full house, full of birds. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, we have also an Amazon, an Amazon red-headed Amazon, I think. Okay. And then we have a lorikeet. Oh, you have a lorikeet? Yeah. Oh, nice. We have a male lorikeet, little little stinker. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, really? Yeah. Is yours female or male? Oh, well, ours is a female, actually. Oh, nice. Mine is a male. Yeah, we actually took her out because um, she was her best friend, so we were hoping maybe she will call him and... Oh. Hear his whistle. Yeah, but, but I yeah, we haven't given up. Good because I have also like I train my lorikeys and all my birds to form it with harness training, so they all have a harness and they don't like if there's something spooky. Even though they are trained, 
they mm -hmm. might not come back immediately. So harness training is like you put a harness around them so you can have them in the shoulder. And if they try to fly back, the, sh the, the harness, the harness yeah. yeah, the harness will pull them back. It's like a leash, you know? So yeah, yeah even with clippers, like I won't risk them because like, I know yeah. like accidents never... happen so fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna take all these advices now with the parts that we have now start training them yeah so if tomorrow morning's not raining i'm gonna um whiten my search and take one of my lorry key or my one of my birds and go look for kevin um i've been looking at fair oaks and in the neighborhood but now talking oh. with you um and i've been looking now also on the um but i'll be okay. looking also more north like okay. wider because who knows where he can be now yeah at this point yeah he can be you know and usually when it rains uh the bird just sits on a tree and hunkers down and they will be in a tree cold you know and then yeah. next day they will be hungry because it's been raining for three days so he must be really really hungry at this point yeah that's what i feel yeah, but yeah. and it's crucial to find him actually in the next three two days um, if he doesn't know how to get food on his own, a parrot can live without food for a whole week, but oh. it's, it's really, really crucial to find them. Yeah, and even if you food. find them, don't give him food right away. He needs to get like, you know, um, baby formula slowly. Oh. Okay. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Yeah. And yeah, I'll, I'll be looking for him and we'll find him for you guys. Thank welcome. you. I really appreciate everything that you're doing. You're welcome. What's your and, name? Um, Edgar. I'm Edgar. Edgar. Okay, Edgar. Yeah. Well, I will call you if I find something, <laughs> and um, and then I'll let you know. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And yeah, we're not gonna give up, and we're still gonna be looking. Hopefully, we'll find you. Yeah, we will. We will. Don't lose hope. And if tomorrow it doesn't rain in the morning, like birds are most vocal in the morning at sunrise and sunset. Sunrise okay, and sunset. Yeah. Oh, and then there's also another website on Facebook. It's called Parrot Alert 911. Have you posted there the, the missing bird? Yeah. Yeah. He's already in, in that website already. F fantastic. Because there's a lot of people and you need a lot of eyes and ears on the ground to hear him once he's vocal. And then if people find a lost bird, they don't know what to do with it. And they get like, you know, oh my gosh, what should I do with it? And then Parrot 911, you reunite birds with the owners, which is a really nice but helpful website. Yeah, I was looking through that website. Yeah, I see a lot of people actually found their birds. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's already in it. So hopefully someone finds him soon. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Sweet. But yeah, I really appreciate everything. And hopefully we find him soon. We will. <laughs> Don't lose <laughs> hope. <laughs> I've been praying yeah. for him. So, you know, like, yeah, we'll, we'll find him because I have also African Grey. And oh my gosh, he's such a little spoiled brat. Uh, <laughs> and I know how they are. They, they are little clowns, yeah. you know. They're such the little babies. Kids. Little kids, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, it's like when somebody goes missing, it's like a soul get uh, get ripped out or your heart gets ripped out. And like a soul is missing and your heart gets ripped out. It's well, yeah. really painful. Yeah. Yep. That's what we, yeah, we, we, have, we can't give up. Like, we're going to find this little guy. Yeah. Are you guys looking every day or just every, uh, as no, you no. can? Every day. Every day. Mornings and evenings. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So um, I'll be looking for him as well. I'm going to continue looking for him. I had to pause the search because of um, the rain, but we'll find him for you guys. Thank you. I really appreciate everything. Mm -hmm. Sweet. All right. I'll call you back once we find him or, you know, once I, I know more information and see him somewhere. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye, Edgar. Talk to you soon. Okay, good night. Bye. Good night. Oh my gosh, he's such a sweetheart. Why is, where's my light? Where's my light? Oh. My light just got shut off. 
my gosh, he's such a sweetheart. So now that I have more information, I'm gonna um, try to find him tomorrow morning. Hopefully it won't rain and I will go out and I widen my search. So hopefully we can find him. We have to find this bird. Oh, he, he, he's heartbroken. I can hear it in his voice. Early the next morning. Good morning, CBPs. Today is day four that I've been looking for the missing African Grey. And it's cold, it's early in the morning. It doesn't rain, that's great. Been looking for three days for this bird. He's been missing for eight, nine days? Nine days, he went missing Saturday last week. Today's Monday, so it's like nine days. But anyway, um, I'm gonna start my search. I um, charge my Sackway. And if you have a missing bird, this is what you have to do, search and rescue. And I also made a map. So this is my route today. This is what I did in the first day, the second day, and the third day. Today I'm gonna do this, this, and this. This, this, and this route. So hopefully I can cover all this angle in, in today. And then um, I will have everything on this side. And then if we don't find him here, I might have to start looking more um, west. I'm also more organized. I have a map and I have a harness and I'm not using my car. I'm just gonna go out with my sackway and do the first route, the blue route. I think my battery will last for like an hour or one and a half hour till my sackway dies and I have to come home to recharge it. Okay, so this is my route today. So let's hope to find this little bird. Wow, guys, look at the snow in the mountains. I've never seen this before. Look how cold it is at night. But you know, when Hope went missing, Kevin! When Hope went missing, he, it was in the teens, and it was so cold, so freezing below zero. Not below zero, it was in the teens. And he survived three days out in the white desert and I found him back after three days, but it was already crucial because he's been flying around. Okay, I've been searching for like now already um, half an hour. My fingers are freezing. I can't really move them. It's so cold. I have covered the first upper blue part. Oh my gosh, it's so freezing cold. And the only bird I'm seeing right now are pigeons and crows and ravens. Blackbirds and gray birds. But I need a gray bird with a red tail. And then I have, I have this bottle of peanuts Kevin! to make more noise. Kevin! Nothing. I'm telling you, searching for birds isn't easy. It's really, really hard, especially in cold weather. Oh, so cold. Oh, all right. I have to stop filming. Search and rescue still continues. Okay, I'm 40 minutes into my search. I have covered all the blue. Now I have to go home back and charge the batteries again low. Uh, freak thing and warm myself up. And then I'm gonna continue searching after it's charged it will take like an hour to charge hopefully it won't rain so Kevin! no sign of him no recall nothing kevin! no kevin no sign from kevin I'm heading now home, I'm freezing, my fingers are freezing and I'm out of battery almost. Alright, second route will start in one hour.